I'm here at London Comic Con with Aaron Ashmore. How are you doing, Dr. Stevel? Fantastic, thank you. Great. I knew you from Jimmy Olsen when in Smallville, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, yeah. Now, what a lot of people don't know is that you have a brother that looks exactly like you. Actually, a lot of people do know that. I've been mistaken uh, for him many times this weekend, so it's a, it's, yeah, it's a, it's a thing. You're mistaken this weekend. Your name is advertised. I know, I know. <laughs> really, I know. really. People are funny that way. I know. Um, how is it that both you became actors? Uh, we started doing commercials uh, when we were kids as twins. Like the double make gum stuff. Not quite. Um, we did a few things together, but we just started into the commercial business and just kind of continued to do it throughout high school, little parts here and there. And then all of a sudden, we both ended up doing it as careers. So we just it very we kind of fell into it in a way. Well, that's awesome. Yeah, we lucked out. It's working for you for sure. So far, so good. Because you a small though from what remember Warehouse 13. Yep. And yep. now your new series, Killjoys. Killjoys. Yeah. What is Killjoys about? Uh, Killjoys. The, the basic premise is bounty hunters in space. Ooh. So it's sort of set um, in a place called the Quad Planetary System. One planet, three moons, and we work. Uh, you know, fulfilling all these warrants in here. But there's also basically a civil war bubbling underneath the surface, and we have to basically, by the end of the season, sort of pick a side who we're going to fight with. So it's, right. pretty, it's pretty cool stuff. That's Check awesome. it out. When, when can we see it? Uh, it's, uh, well, the first season has actually already aired on Space and Sci-Fi, but we're going back to shoot a second season, so I think like on their, on their website, Space Channel or Sci-Fi, you can probably catch up with it or stream it. I didn't, I didn't say that, but... Uh, I, I would never do that personally. But no, no, no streaming. No, bad, Watch bad. it live. It's evil. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, a couple other little things which I find interesting myself is um, in the movie X-Men it was your brother that played mm -hmm. uh, Bobby. Yeah. But apparent, uh, from what I read in IMBD, you actually were on to play his double from Mystique. No, that's no? like a misconception that a lot of people think. Uh, there was actually a show called Animorphs that my brother did right, right before he did the X-Men movie and I did, there was a, a scene where his character had to run into it to himself like there was a doubling type thing in there and I did that but I think that for some reason that transferred over to the X-Men thing but no I, I didn't do I didn't oh, okay. do that I would have loved to that would have been fun but they had big budgets so they could uh, use a green screen and just have two of them why, why not just use two actors I mean I understand you have a big budget but come on I know I know I would have liked to do that and you guys don't sometimes like hey man I'm, I'm a little short on work and I don't want to go in or you're short on work I don't want to go in today so can you come cover it for me it doesn't happen no, I don't think we look quite identical enough to pull that off okay. side by side. But that would be a good good little, you know, sick day. You get sick and you're just like, hey, do you want to cover for me today? Right. Or like the Olsen twins, right? You have to, you totally. Know, to half, half the work, the same pay. Right. They could just, sh they could just shift in for each other. <laughs> Amazing. Evil. Oh That's evil. evil. Mm -hmm. I would do that. That's how I would manage you, Gosh. <laughs> Send you off, right? You would have been good in the Terminator back when they had the clones and stuff. And Absolutely. The well, that was a, there was a twin in the Terminator. In Terminator 2, there's a guy that gets stabbed through the yeah, eye. By his himself. By, his brother. by himself, yeah. That, that was a twin, which I thought was pretty cool. Yeah, I was happy. So I thought there'd be more of stuff happening with you guys. I, I know. We'll have to make it happen. Right. Okay. There's also another rumor I want to squash. Okay. Because you played Jimmy Olsen. Mm -hmm. There was a rumor that Brian Singer was going to get your brother to play it in the movie. Yeah, he actually, uh, at a certain point, uh, put it out there. And it didn't happen. I don't know if it's because... Uh, no, no, actually, yeah, that, that would have been before I actually booked Jimmy Olsen. So I, I think there may have been a conflict with X-Men where they're like, you're a Marvel guy or, you know what I mean, like that type of thing. Okay. You can't go over to do DC stuff or something, like a contractual thing. But if Sean had gotten that part as Jimmy Olsen uh, in the movie, I probably never would have played Jimmy Olsen on the show because it would have been too bizarre. So I, I'm grateful that he didn't get that role. Well, yeah, he was also in Smallville as a bad guy. So I it's know, kind of... and they never brought that up. They never brought that up. I, I thought that there it would have been funny if the first time that I bumped into Tom, he, he could have, or like, you know, Clark on the show, he could have been like, have we met? And I'm like, no, I don't think so. And, you know, just to kind of play it off a little bit and then not address it, but they never addressed it. I thought that was bizarre. So we were like, that. Yeah, it would have been. I think it would have been a fun little thing, and the fans would have probably thought it was really funny too to just kind of give it a little bit of a nudge. But yeah. it never happened. Oh well. Who knew? Who knew? Yeah. Right, thank you very much. No problem, Doctor Steve. So, Good to see you again. Killjoy. Killjoy. Killjoy on Space Channel. Yeah. <laughs>